station. This is WBAL. How do you hear me? I have you loud and clear. How, how do you have me? We can hear you here in Baltimore. All right, that's fantastic. Reed Wiseman, it has been quite a ride for astronaut Reed Wiseman of Cockeysville, a ride all the way to outer space in the International Space Station. He joins us now from high above planet Earth. And, Reed, there are a lot of people here in Baltimore who are following your progress. How is it going up there? Well, so far, we're a little over two weeks in, and it's going absolutely fantastic. We have a great commander right now, Steve Swanson, and uh, he's showing the ropes to me and my German crewmate. We're both rookies, myself and Alex Gerst. And uh, we really are starting to get the hang of things, and life is actually pretty enjoyable right now. What was your first impression of planet Earth when you first saw it for the first time? Uh, funny story is uh, I couldn't see it out of my window at first, but Alex saw it out of his window on the right side of the spacecraft, and uh, I just heard him kind of exhale this, this deep breath, and he goes, wow, the Earth is just unbelievably beautiful. I looked out my window, and I couldn't see it. But then about uh, five minutes later, we did a little roll, and I could see it out my window, and it was way more than I could have ever imagined. The atmosphere is so beautiful on the horizon, just a, a nice pale blue. It's incredibly small. And then the blackness of space is just, it's so, such a deep black color, your mind just can't really even process uh, what you're looking at. But it's, it's far more beautiful than I could have ever imagined. Well, you've been using Twitter quite regularly throughout your trip. In fact, you've already posted a Vine video. Your Twitter handle is Astro underscore Reed. A lot of people have been following you. Those pictures are spectacular, and it's a great way, I think, for many people to see exactly what you're seeing. Well, it's, it's a lot of fun for me to get to share those, and I, I just wanted to try to portray the view out the window as we see it and try to get that onto Twitter. And uh, so far, it's been pretty successful, and I'm extremely happy about that, and I'll try to keep it going. What kind of experiments have you been doing? And I understand you're going to do two spacewalks while you're up there, correct? Well, we'll see. Right now on the schedule, we have two, maybe a few more, maybe a little less for spacewalks. So, of course, that'll be, uh, that'll be a huge event for us in August. Uh, but right now, even just in the first two weeks, I've been busy doing some colloidal experiments. I've had a few things in the centrifuge. Uh, we've been burning some materials in one of our incinerators, a combustion chamber, uh, and a lot of work on the human body. We've had eye tests, uh, lots of ultrasound on my heart, all my leg muscles, just to see how the first two weeks are going for my body and how I'm adapting. So uh, it's been very busy. And I understand you are adapting. How is it adjusting to that weightlessness? I would imagine you have to hold on to everything constantly, right? Yeah, we, we train. We train for two and a half years for the for our work on the space station. But as soon as you come on board, the one thing that we never were able to train for is that lack of gravity. And as soon as you come through the hatch, your world is completely upside down and backwards because the ceiling can be the floor. There really are no walls. You can be upside down just as easily as right side up. Uh, you can lose parts and tools and pieces like crazy. And uh, so just getting adjusted to all that throughout the first two weeks. And, and it's going to take many, many more weeks to be fully adjusted to that. I understand you're watching the World Cup in your spare time. Is there much space, uh, spare time on the International Space Station? <laughs> uh, they, they definitely try to give us spare time on Sunday. Uh, we, have, we have a couple blocks of time off just to relax and watch the world go by. And we used that time this weekend to watch the World Cup with our Russian crewmates. We were all gathered around a really small computer laptop monitor. But we were able to watch it. It was a little grainy, but it, it worked. Uh, so that was a good Italy versus England match. It was fun to watch that. Is there anything that has surprised you so far since you've been up there? Uh, the better question is what hasn't surprised me. I would say everything has surprised me. I didn't expect the window to be as addictive as it is. I want to go there all the time and look out. I didn't expect it to be this hard to work in weightlessness. Uh, it's a little bit like camping. When you first get up here, you don't know where anything is. Where are my spare clothes, my washcloth, my soap, all of that stuff. And just getting adjusted to the daily routine, it's been, uh, it's, it's been quite an adventure for me. 
How is the food? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I have to say, actually, the food is very good. Uh, we have a mixture of American, European, and Russian food, and just using those three, uh, it's actually pretty good. I I've been very, very surprised. I'm sure after six months, I'll be ready to come home and have a hamburger and a piece of pizza. But for now, it's, uh, they've done a great job giving us some good food to eat. I'm sure you're looking forward to a Baltimore crab cake at some point, too, right? You know, that's, that's, a, that's a good one because all of my Baltimore friends have been sending me pictures of them sitting down to the table eating crabs. And, uh, cut, you know, the table's covered in newspaper, the crab mallets are out, and it's just covered in good Maryland blue crabs. And uh, it just it activates your, your mind, the smell, the senses, the taste of Maryland crabs. You better believe I'll be making a trip up there for some crab cakes and some crabs when I get home. Now, the day the rocket went into space, I was at a launch party at your high school. Did you ever think when you were a student at Delaney you'd end up on the International Space Station? Well, I certainly was not a straight-A student. I did pretty well, and uh, I absolutely never thought in my wildest. I didn't even dream about it because it was too far-fetched of a dream to have. So uh, it really is absolutely amazing to be up here. Is there anything else you want to accomplish while you're on board there for the next couple of months? Oh, wow, absolutely. I would love to go do a spacewalk. In fact, I have a, a bucket list that I created with some of my friends before I came up. It's about 50 to 60 items long, and I've started chipping away at it, but there's a lot, a lot more. And really, uh, I just I want to conduct as much science as we can possibly do while I'm up here. That's the, that's the major goal, and that's what I'm looking most forward to. So it's good to have the, the acclimation time behind us, and now we're ready to get down to the serious work. And how is it working with the Russian astronauts and the other folks that are up there in, as far as international relations go? Everything okay? <laughs> uh yeah, that's, that's an easy question to answer. Everything is perfect. These, these are not, uh, it's not Russians, Germans, and Americans working up here right now. It's just a big family. We're all great friends. We've been training together for a long time. We know our, our spouses. We know each other's children really well. And, uh, and for that, it's just a big family, like I said. And it's really a blast working with these guys. And I know you're having an awesome time up there. We hope you get some rest. Uh, you were talking about that earlier. Are you able to sleep in eight or nine hour blocks? Yeah, the first few days I was getting real choppy sleep, but now I'm getting a, a solid seven to eight hours a night, and I'm, I'm actually sleeping a little better up here than on Earth. So uh, it's really comfortable. Once your body adjusts to uh, sleeping in a floating uh, sleeping bag, uh, it kind of works itself out, and it's been really good. You mentioned earlier that this was almost like camping. Is that really what it's like? Uh, to me, it's a, it's, it is a lot like camping just without the gravity, so it messes you up a little. But you're eating food out of, uh, you know, processed food out of packages. You're sleeping in a sleeping bag. Of course, it's tied off to the, to the wall instead of uh, laying on the ground. Um, and you, you really have to care for yourself. You have to keep track of all your items or you're going to lose everything. So to me, it's, it's identical to camping. Now, I'm watching the picture here on planet Earth, and I notice you're standing, but you're actually floating, so you're tied down at this point, right? Oh, I just, I just have my feet stuck to the ground so that I don't float around, but uh, I have them under a little handrail down there, but I could just <laughs> as easily be stuck to the ceiling. Uh, but, you know, it's, it is hard to float. Your body just doesn't want to stay in one spot, so I'll drift off if I let go. And you'll just keep going down, and we can just float you to infinity, right? Absolutely. I float until I run into a wall or something that I don't want to run into. But, uh, yeah, there eventually there is a stopping block somewhere. So I guess playing a card game up there or poker with poker chips won't work, right? Uh, you know, we absolutely cannot do that, but we have iPads up here now, and we've been putting some games on there. So we can play chess, and you can play solitaire. Uh, the iPad is, is not affected by gravity, the lack of gravity, so that works for us. So the folks at Apple will be happy that the iPad does work in space. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, absolutely, absolutely. It's a, it is a great thing for us to have up here. All right, well, Reed Wiseman is the American astronaut on board the International Space Station. He's from Cockeyville. Please be safe and enjoy the rest of your time and have a safe trip home. I appreciate it. It's great to talk to you, and I really wish we could get some uh, some O's games on the AM up here. It would be great to listen to as I fall asleep at night. Uh, but I got to say, go O's. We have to figure that out. We can get you WBAL AM up there in the, in the International Space Station. We'd love to do that for you. <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll have to work on it. I'll talk to the support people, and we'll see if we can make it happen for a couple games. All right, thanks, Reed. Enjoy your time and be safe. All right, take care. Great talking to you. Ten minutes past the hour. Imagine spanning the globe in about an hour and a half. Our next guest does it day in and day out, and he's using social media to take us along with him as he passes over places like Cape Cod, Dubai, Argentina, and Antarctica. This is a very special view from above. <laughs> it is indeed, and we're joined live by U.S. Navy Commander Reed Wiseman. He's one of the astronauts, American astronauts aboard the International Space Station, and we've got him in our tall wall Woo! right now. Hey, Reed, what's going on with your, mus your mission? You're six months up there now? And there's a four-second delay. And there's a four-second delay. Yeah, right now we, uh, my my crewmates and I that just got up here, we're a little over two weeks. We're a little over two weeks into our six-month mission, so really we're just starting to get our feet wet, just learning how to live and work on on board the space station with zero gravity. Now, Commander, you now um, have the distinction of having the first find <laughs> from space. This awesome video you recorded of orbit. Tell us about it. I really like Vine because it gives you that six to seven second looping video. And when, when we first got up here, we were in this very odd uh, part of the year where the sun never sets from our view on the space station. And I was sitting in the cupola one day looking outside and I just watched the sun for a while and I realized it makes this amazing loop in the, in the blackness of space. And I thought, this, if I speed this up, this is the perfect way to introduce uh, a Vine from space. And so I put it together. Uh, real quick with the help of some folks on the ground at NASA and we put it out there and I had absolutely no idea it would be such an overwhelming success but it, it worked out perfectly. Now social media is blown up with World Cup and of course being you know from the US we know you have some spectacular views of Brazil and I know you're pulling for Team USA today. Oh, absolutely. I have to be pulling for uh, Team USA, no doubt. And uh, our views our views over the last week of Brazil have been absolutely spectacular. Uh, a few of them at night and a few of them during the day. It's been really neat to fly over that country knowing that there's such a global event going on down there. And uh, Alex Gerst and myself have tried to share some pictures of that as we've been going around. All right, we will, we will follow you. <laughs> We will follow you, sir, as will America. We're glad you're safely uh, tucked in there. Uh, and we hope we get a chance to talk to you several times. That's U.S. Uh, Navy Commander Reed Wiseman, who's aboard the ISS. And so awesome. Fun.